Hello and welcome to Pemberton. My name is Pam Fields and my second graders and I would like to invite you to one of our science lessons today. Ready boys and girls? All right. Yeah. We, we're coming to an end of our science unit and we've learned a lot about matter, haven't we? Mm -hmm. So we're gonna play a little review game. We'll play our penguin review game and then we're going to conduct our last experiment. All righty. You gonna start us, Wyatt? You got it. You got the first question, Luke. All right, this is a multiple choice question. Are you ready? Matter is anything that A, shakes and moves, B, takes up space and has weight or mass, or C, freezes. It can freeze, right? Yeah. So would we say that matter is anything that takes up space? Yes. And has weight or mass? Good job. Let's keep passing. This state of matter has a definite size and a definite shape. Is it a solid, liquid, or a gas? Solid. It is indeed. Pass the penguin. This, si this state of matter has no definite size or shape. Is that a solid, liquid, or a gas, Ella Grace? This state of matter has no definite size or shape. Liquid. Try again. It has no definite size or shape. Oh, um, gas. It is a gas. Very good. Thank you. Pass the penguin. Ready, Ren? If you put liquid water into the freezer, it will become a what? Solid. It will become a solid. Nice job. Pass the penguin. Is that you, Claire? Claire, think about when we did the experiment where we heated ice cubes in the hot pot and we continue to add heat until the ice cubes turn into a liquid and then eventually a gas. Do you remember when we put the cookie sheet over the gas to catch some of it and we saw water droplets? What was that process called? Uh, condensation. condensation, exactly right. Pass the penguin. Ethan, the air inside a balloon. Is it a solid, liquid, or a gas? It is a gas. Very good. Pass the penguin. Is that you, Manila? Yeah. Manila, if you leave an ice cube in the sun on a hot summer day, what will happen to it? It will turn into a liquid. What do we call that process? If it's turning from a solid into a liquid, what is happening to it? Evaporate. Some of it will be, it will be into a, uh, turn into a gas then, right? Would it, would it be melting? Would it be melting? Very good. Pass the penguin. Parker, to change state from a solid, then to a liquid, then to a gas, you must heat it up or cool it down. Heat it up. You must heat it up. Very good. Pass the penguin. Jason. 
case, when heat is added to liquid water, it causes the water to turn into which state of matter? Solid, liquid, or a gas? It certainly does. All right, if you can pass that on back to me, Jace. Pass the penguin back down to me. We are getting ready to do our last experiment, boys and girls. And I'm going to have you um, work with your partners at your tables. Everything is on the worksheet that's provided for you. So please um, work together as partners, share the responsibilities, help each other answer the questions, talk through the questions. And when we're finished, I'll call you back to the carpet. Our goal for this experiment is to be able to give examples of gases and tell how they are useful in our everyday lives. Everybody ready? Yeah. All right. What do you notice that's happening? The raisins in the water. The bubbles on the raisins. Oh, I see the on the raisins. Do they have buoyancy? Are they floating? Max, are they floating? What are they doing? See here. Just sitting there, aren't they? All right, go ahead and answer the first question, and then you'll be ready for step two. Okay. Are the raisins yeah. doing the same thing? But they're not bubbling. They're not bubbling up. What do you think is causing that? Um, because, um, because it has no air in it. Carbon dioxide. Oh, there is carbon dioxide in We learned that from our last experiment, didn't we? What are, what are the bubbles doing on the raisins? Um, no, X. What are they it, doing to it, the raisins? It's like floating them up. It is. Does that remind you of anything yeah. in Whoa. your real life? The beach. The beach. Tell me about it. Um. So sometimes um, the beach bubbles up and comes to the shore. Okay. Does it remind you? Yeah. 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 You think the air inside of it is coming out? Uh. But the but because there's carbon dioxide in this and but in this one there isn't any carbon dioxide yeah. so the air isn't coming out. Yeah. I want to see what happens when we take it out of the water. <laughs> okay, I will not be able to reach it. It's just like yeah. You can't reach it. I'll try with this one. You can you reach that right? It's see a lot raisin. Okay. It's a lot softer than that one. Feel it. Uh, is it? Oh yeah, it's really soft. <laughs> It's two raisins. Who would like to? Go ahead and dump the rest of the raisins in. It's all of them in the Sprite. And let's see if any reaction happens. It might be the same or different as the one in water. How are the gas Oh, they're floating. Wait. They're floating. How are they reacting they're floating up. And they're floating down and up. Wait, they're floating down I think it's the bubbles pushing them up. But you think the bubbles are pushing them? Why do you think it's storing that to the raisins? Uh, because the raisins have something in it. Do you think the raisins have something in it? Like what? Like see, like it's, it's like so small in it, and it just got all sucked up. So I know, we it. thought I saw it, it got all the sweetness of it got sucked oh, out. Oh, it's the sweetness. So this one was different. How are the bubbles helping the, some of the raisins float to the surface? Was it pushing it up? It was pushing it up. Do you think the carbon dioxide is pushing them up? Does it remind you of anything when you're swimming? What are they doing over there? It does look dizzy. How are the bubbles helping the raisins, Ethan? 
right? Helping them float? Yeah. So they don't have to like round down. What do you notice is different about the two cups? Um, that, that one was normal reason until it turned brown. Okay. Do you think the, the Sprite will hold up a grape? Um, you want to experiment with that? Yeah, let's try it. You girls want to try a blueberry or a grape? Yeah, with the Sprite. Okay. To see if yes. it'll have the same Ready? effect. Here we go. As the raisins. Boom. You can oh each have one. That's crazy. Oh, oh. oh, I was right. I did not know that. Are the grapes and raisins a solid liquid or gas? Uh, solid. Solid. All right, let's see if the blueberry is buoyant or the grape is buoyant. Down. Ooh, look at there. Close that. No, that is crazy. The grapes just stay at the bottom. The grapes stay at the bottom? We experimented with some fruits. It looks like blueberries are floaters. They're buoyant. Oh, the grape just came up. Why do you think the grape floated in this cup, but not in the cup? It has air. What are the air bubbles helping the grape do? Why do you think some of the raisins, once they reach the surface, they drop back down? Here's one that just went up. Maybe the bubbles are lifting them up Does it remind you of anything when you're swimming? Hold your breath. Very good. And you float. And let it out. And you sink. You're right. Do you guys ever wear floaties? In the ocean or a pool? Did you, you used to? What did they help you do? They helped you float, right? Because what was inside? Air. Air was inside. So it's not all of them that are floating. Just some of them, like that are on the top, have like the bubbles have enough pressure to hold them up, but. Sometimes when you're not like under a bunch of bubbles, they fall down. Oh, the great sun. Whoa, it looks like it has snow on it. It does. Okay, I think, I think it's too heavy for the gas the bubbles. You can try a blueberry. That's why they're helping. I'm going to do this one. I'm going to do this one right. this time. Oh, my it's goodness. It's blowing up. Why do you think that happens? I don't know. Wait, is there a yeah. there? I thought there was two. Ooh, Ren, why do you think that grape came up? It reacts because yeah, it, it does. reacts. Yeah. This, this grape just stayed down at the bottom. What do you think? I know. It, because in the spike there's carbon dioxide, uh -huh. and in this there's no carbon dioxide. And so how is the carbon dioxide helpful to the grape? Because the carbon dioxide is a gas, and some gas stays in there, which forms the air bubbles on the grapes. It makes our air pockets so which makes it float up. I heard a lot of talking, especially about reaching our goal of trying to figure out some ways that gases can be useful in our everyday lives. Raise your hand if you feel like sharing. How or what was useful to the raisins? Something helped the raisins in the Sprite that didn't happen in the water. Yes, Ella Grace. Um, in the Sprite, the bubbles were like floating up, so it was sort of like it was the Sprite's float. It was kind of like a float, mm hmm And then all the bubbles popped, so then it went down, and they just kept getting more bubbles on each raisin, and it just kept floating. I noticed that. Every time a raisin went down, more bubbles would collect mm -hmm on it. No. Uh, Manella? Um, so like, um, but when the raisins in the Sprite, um, the bubbles were raising the raisins up, down, up, down, up, that, down. That was fun. In the water or the Sprite? Yeah. No, Sprite? In the Sprite, right? Yes, Keegan? Well, the carbon dioxide, uh, <coughs> so it was inside the bubbles, and so it pushed up the raisins because the air usually floats. It was kind of like a lifesaver, wasn't it? Does that remind you of anything when you are um, in the swimming pool, back when you were learning how to swim? What does that remind you of, Keegan? A life jacket. Like a life jacket, or what else? Did you used to wear something before you learned how to swim, Avery, to help you stay afloat? Like, like what? 
I think I was only telling a spoon them and you had some poppets, but those were mm -hmm. big, right? Like, snakes <gasps> and sharks. Oh, was that right? Did anything you wear help you float? Uh-huh. <coughs> what it was, was it? It was a small white like, jacket. It was a small white like, jacket. Yes, Parker, what would you like to add? Um, I used floaties. Floaties? They help. Yeah, when you're a new swimmer, they help you, right? They're filled with air, air and since that's less um, dense than water, it helps you rise to the surface. Yes, Jack? The way I see it is, is uh, like the bubbles are pulling it up with like pressure. I did. I saw the bubbles were like on all sides of the raisins, weren't they? Yeah. What about you, Claire? We're going to end. We're going to end right there. Yes, ma'am. Did you think that reaction was going to happen, or did you think something else would happen to the grape? I thought something was going to happen. Yeah, I thought the, well, the grape seemed heavier, right? Mm -hmm. Sometimes heavier objects just to go down. You, did, you missed the grape? I'll let you do that when we go back. Sound good? All right, as I was listening to some of you talk, I heard some great ideas of how other gases can be helpful to our everyday life. Does anyone want to share? Yes, Parker. Air we breathe is a gas. That helps us, doesn't it? Yeah, I see that. Me too. Um, Wyatt? When we breathe out air, plants get air. When we breathe out air, what do we call that, boys and girls? Dioxide. Carbon dioxide. The plants love it. The trees love it. It helps them, doesn't it? And then they, in return, give us oxygen to breathe. Um, I heard some of you talk about some instruments need gas to play. They need air. I forget who said that. What instruments would need air? Some instruments need air or they wouldn't make a sound. Essie? Two All of those would definitely need your air to be able to play, you're right? I heard someone talk about um, your bicycle. Which group talked about that? That gas is helpful for a bicycle. In what way, Brady? How can gas help a bicycle? Yeah. Because gas is in a tire. It's in the tire, right? Air's in the tire. Is there anything else that has tires, Keegan? Cars, motorcycles. Cars, motorcycles. Oh, and sometimes airplanes because they don't have to have any gas in them. Yes, thank you, Jack. Uh, so uh, what I was going to say is that it is cars. For the car well, tires. what about a truck? Same thing. I agree. Yes, Parker. Um, um, an electric bike. An electric bike for the tires as well? Yep, definitely. Um, Essie? Is there electricity in gas? I don't know. That'd be something we can research, right? Would that be a good one? All right. Well, boys and girls, we're going to go ahead and end our day. Um, thank you so much. I hope you had a lot of fun with our last experiment as we've been studying matter. We hope you enjoyed experimenting with us today. Thanks for visiting Pemberton. <laughs>